Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I follow Kathleen Lights on YouTube. I've been following her for so long and she did a video kind of something along these lines and it really, really inspired me. So I kind of wanted to play around and recreate something similar to what she came up with. So I am i don't mean to copy her. I'm giving her full credit. Um, she's amazing and I love her. Um, but I watched her video and it made me really inspired. So I wanted to kind of play around with like cranberries. If you guys want to see how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start off with my eyes. I'm just priming my eyes with some concealer. So I'm going in with my first shade, which is called Chickadee by Makeup Geek. This is a very kind of orangey yellow shade. So I really wanted this to be kind of really warm. So I'm applying this into my crease first. Now I'm going in with another shade by Makeup Geek. This is called Coco Bear. Just a really pretty warm brown. And I'm just going to take a smaller crease brush and focus this more into the crease. So now I'm going into my Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to take the color Venetian Red and I'm just going to apply this all over my entire lid and kind of work it up into the crease at the same time. Now I'm just going in with this more pinky tone called Love Letter and I'm just going to put that on top of the other color that we had. So now I'm just going back into that Makeup Geek chickety color, that yellowy color, and I'm just going to put this on the outer corner. This look is just going to be a lot of blending and a lot of repeating colors because once you blend away colors, then you kind of lose the pigmentation. So I'm just kind of going back and forth into those shades and just reapplying them until I get the intensity that I want. So now I'm going in with this color right here called Cypress Umber and it's just a really dark brown. So I'm just taking this and I'm focusing this on the outer corner and really just blending that. We are going to put a black there as well but I wanted a base so that it kind of faded into the brown rather than just harsh black on the outer corner. So I am just placing this before we go in with our black and the black that I'm using is Makeup Geek's Corrupt. It's just an extremely black eyeshadow. I love this color. It's just super black and I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner kind of lower down and then kind of flick it up into the brown if that makes sense. So now I'm just going in and applying more of that kind of red and pink mix together just because we lost some of the pigmentation like I said when you blend that is what's going to happen so just take your time and less is more so just kind of build rather than just apply too much to where you can't really fix it so that's why I like to do it in layers so here I'm just going back in with that yellow again and just blending out the outer corners.
But now I'm taking my Natasha Denona Star Palette, which is extremely expensive, so don't worry if you don't have this. Just find any kind of rose gold eyeshadow, and I am spraying it with Fix Plus just to give it more pigment. And what I like to do is put my um, brush in the eyeshadow first and then spray it with the Fix Plus because if you spray it first, you can ruin the eyeshadow. So, um, And I didn't use Fix Plus. I don't know why I said Fix Plus. I used my setting spray from Smashbox, but you can use Fix Plus. And I'm just kind of blending that onto my eyelid and then blending the kind of red cranberry color into this color. Now I'm just deepening up that black, once again repeating the process. And then I'm taking this color right here, and it's called Tempera, I think, or Tempra. And it's just a really kind of neutral vanilla shade, and I'm just going to apply this under my brow bone and then blend that out. Alright, so now I'm just going to apply some mascara and some false lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies. I love these lashes. Now I'm going in with foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm obsessed with this foundation. It literally lasts all day. This is a little too light for me, this foundation. I'm in the color Desert Beige, but it's a, it was a little, little too light. But I make it work once I bronze up the skin. And then I'm going in with my Concealer by Tarte. Shape tape. I mean, I use this all the time. It's just so good and it's so hard to use anything else when you have something that works so good. Why fix the glass if it's not broken? So I'm going to set that concealer with my RCMA translucent no color powder and just really pack that on and bake. And yeah, I'm just using my Real Techniques sponge to apply this. And then I'm going to contour with the Benefit Hula. And yeah, I'm pretty much just going to do my regular contour on my um, temples, my cheekbones, and a little bit on my nose. Alright, so now I'm just going to swipe away any of that leftover powder with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. Now I'm going to warm up the face just a little bit. I am using the NYC Sunny Bronzer. I'm so upset. I don't think that they're selling this anymore. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing it or what the deal is, but I love this bronzer. It's so inexpensive and it works really well and it's very matte. So I'm just using that. Now I'm going back to the eyes and I'm going to apply this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And it's in the color Rust Royal. I'm not really sure. It's number 619. And then I'm going back into those two shades. And I'm really just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Now going in with mascara, this is the Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara for my lower lashes. It's really good at separating them. It's amazing. So now I'm taking this blush by Wet n Wild in the color Mellow Wine. I really like this blush. It's so beautiful. So I am applying this to my cheekbones and then I'm going to go in with my highlight. I am using Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. This is one of my all-time favorite highlights. It's so amazing. It has that really pretty golden sheen, but because it's a baked bronzer, it does not look powdery. It's just amazing. I highly recommend this highlight. It is stunning. So now I'm just going to spray my face with my Smashbox uh, primer water. I don't know why I did this before my lips, so probably wait till after your lips because my lips were a little wet, so the lip pencil was kind of sliding around. But what I'm using is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the color Bear to Comment. I absolutely love this formula of lip liner. It's amazing. It's really creamy and easy to apply, and it stays such a long time. And then to top that, I'm using my Stila Liquid Lipsticks Stay All Day in the color uh, Bella Sami or Bella Sima, I think. Um, yeah, so that is going to complete this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.